What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Single Hook Hogs Fishing, keeping you ready and motivated for trout fishing in Pennsylvania and surrounding areas. I'm Corporal Hood. Mission for today, give y'all a look at the difference between a wild brown and a stalker brown. Not a native brown. The brown trout are actually native to Germany. They were imported. Them rainbows, they're native to the northwest. They were imported to the east coast also. Only thing we got here that's true native are those brook trout. So in PA, we got three types of trout. We got the rainbows, the browns, and the brook trout. And you consider them Palomino's golden rainbow trout. Hey, if you want to call them a four species, that's cool, but they are a derivative of. And I'm pretty sure they came out of Virginia on some craziness they were doing at the hatcheries over there. Back to the point, what you're going to be looking for is white under those pectoral fins and on the dorsal fin, the front and the back, there's going to be a lot more coloration, a lot more spots. And that rear dorsal fin or adipose fin, you're going to see a lot of nice red and you're going to see much more development in these wild browns. They're going to fight harder and they're going to be a lot more aggressive. And pound for pound, you're going to feel like you have a bigger fish. Anyway, y'all, we're going to go ahead, hit the creek. We know they stock browns in here, and we've caught wild browns in here. We also know they put some big rainbows and some big pallies. Fish on, fish on, fish on. We got one. Oh, it's a nice one. It's a little husker, y'all. Whoo! Whoo, nice rain. Oh, it's a nice brown. Nice brown. Hoo wee. It's a little husker. It's a little husker. So that's a stalker. You all see the difference? No red in that tail fin. Way less coloration. Either way, not too shabby. They want it, y'all. They're in there. They just don't know it yet. Fish on. Fish on. We got one. Knew it. Oh, it's a Husker. Whew. It's a big one, y'all. We got him. We got him. Knew he was taking it. That ain't no creek chub. That ain't no creek chub. Look at that. Ooh, they're nibbling. Look at that rainbow. Wow. Ooh-wee, y'all. Ooh. Ooh-wee, they got some pretty ones in here. Let's get the net. We got him in this fast water. Whoo! Whoo wee, y'all, look at that guy. In the net. Nice Husker rainbow. Damn. And he's gone. We knew there was something in there nibbling it. Man, nice little husker, y'all. Who just missed him. Just missed him. There it is, y'all, there it is. Here he comes, here he comes. I can feel the swirls at the end of the line. I can feel them swirling around it. Just some little moves. Whoo! Where's a wet fly when you need one? Fish on, fish on, we got him, we got him, we got him. Fish on, knew it, knew it. It's a decent one. Whoo, nice. 
Ooh, he's fighting a little bit. There's a little guy. It's a little brown. I can think it's a brown by the way it's fighting. Woo! There it is. It's definitely a little brown, y'all. There it is. Get the net. Get the net. Whew. Nice little brown chow. Right on the lip. Bangs in the net. Whew. Oh, it's a wild one. Oh, wow. What an awesome surprise, y'all. Nice wild brown. This guy's about 9, maybe 10, 11 inches. Who knows? But check out the spots on him. Get you a look at this guy, y'all. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome, y'all. We got the stalker and the wild brown and a nice Husker rainbow as a bonus. We're going to go ahead, show you all a picture of a wild brown so you can see what these feature differences are. And then we're going to show you the stalker so then you'll see the lack thereof. We're going to talk about why the features are different and why those stalkers get some of their damage. And we're going to try to sum up to the best of our knowledge the difference between these wilds and these browns. If there's anything else you all want to add, let us know. Always willing to learn here. But anyway, y'all, let's go ahead, take a look, wild brown first, and pay attention to some of these features because you're not gonna see them on the stalker. All right, y'all, here we have that wild brown. And checking him out, notice that blue spot behind the eye and that gold coloration on the gills. Those pectoral fins are very enlarged, nice, brilliant spots, red coloration. Look at his fin quality, how they're bright and intact multi-coloration that adipose fin in the back is nice and red and check out his tail as he releases look at how intact his tail fin is right there that is a beautiful beautiful wild brown trout y'all now here we have that stalker from the video notice no blue spot behind the eye no gold plates on the gills there the jaw lines more shallow less developed and his fins are actually pretty intact he does have some nice spots but no gold bar on the belly yet and you see no red or brilliant colors on that adipose or those spots along his body and check out his tail fin here on the release you can see a little bit of damage on the corner now that sums up the visual differences pretty much, but there are some behavioral differences. Those wild brown trout, they were born there since they were this big. They've had to fend for themselves, live in that moving water, swim up that creek, hunt for their food. The difference is gonna be in development. That's gonna take a few years for those stalkers to develop if they live that long. Those wild browns are gonna be much more aggressive. You saw in the video that wild brown jumped, and that's gonna happen a lot. Those holdovers, wild fish, they're gonna go a little crazy when you get them online. A lot of time you're gonna know you got something that's just a little more wild. Those stalkers tend to be a little less aggressive bite until they develop, but they will annihilate stuff. You get some of them 16, 17 inch stalker browns, they'll hit like a ton of bricks and, and browns tend to be more aggressive in general. Now, part of the reason for that coloration is due to diet. Those wild fish have been in there, they've been eating different color, live stuff. They get a lot of the colors in their spots from their diet, their coloration comes from diet a lot of the times. And those stalkers, they're just eating those pellets. Most hatcheries aren't feeding live bait or worm bait or blood worms anymore. So they get that really grayish background bland color and they're not used to hunting for their food. However, there are some hatcheries, I know for certain in Pennsylvania that they call open water hatcheries or whatnot, but basically they're open creeks. These fish are bred in creeks, but they're netted off, they're gated off, covered, things like that so the birds can't get them. And they grow up and actually raise these fish in running water. I've been to one in Sullivan County. Maybe next time we get up there, we can shoot a video on that. But these fish come out looking almost like wild fish, and you really wouldn't be able to tell the difference because those stalkers get banged up on the concrete walls of those hatcheries, and that's why they come out. There's 100 fish in there. They're competing. They're getting scraped up, and you saw that damage on that stalker's fin. Regardless, y'all, we hope this helps y'all differentiate between some of those wilds and some of those stalkers. And if you get an opportunity to handle these wilds, just handle them carefully, put them back in, Make sure you got wet hands, don't use a glove because that is something that's part of the environment. You know them stalkers are a little bit more of a game fish, but those wild fish, we like to keep them, try to release them back in the wild. But if you do get an opportunity to hook into some of them, 
that's awesome. You're going to enjoy it, and you're going to have some beautiful visuals to remember for the rest of your life, y'all. So thanks again for the support. Remember, like, subscribe, share. Follow us on that Facebook channel, Single Hook Hogs Fishing. Giving away that Dragon's Egg backpack to 1,000 subscribers with a bunch of other goodies in there. And we'll catch you next time, y'all. Single Hook Hogs out.